Yeah. Here we go again. You heard? I said, here we go again. With a new member of the God Over Money team. But this one's a G-O-N mix. Episode of Tech P. What's the what? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Ah, it's been a minute. Um, when I say it's been a minute, I've been creating, but I haven't been creating from this mental position, this position of Tech P. And I haven't been able to get to Tech P because Tech P is like, I consider it my higher self. And I hadn't been able to get to my higher self because of what I've been having to deal with in the physical, in this life. You know how people say, life been life in. And so, my life at the moment is life and it's because of hell and for so long I've created because I found healing in creating and when I create I'm Tech P I feel like this guy I feel like a guy that can think strategically about how to use all of his gifts while acknowledging his flaws build a team and create deliver solutions and art and community But when I had to go in, um, go into environments where I'm triggered by the things that that happened, I don't feel that's good. Let's just say it that way. And so. Um, because of that it took me some time to be able to articulate it in this way and I think it all become clearer over time um, but because of that experience deep down inside I was still me and who am I, I am uh I'm a, I'm a kid born 
and raised in Oak Cliff, Dallas, Texas, graduate of South Oak Cliff. A young man that matured in a season there at Fisk University. That's the foundation of who I am. And so when it boiled back to that, I had to get back to what was instilled in me. And what, what was instilled in me is you don't ever let anyone mistreat you when you have a way to hold them accountable. And so the reason why I say that is because you know, it's, I think it's cliche for people to say, hey, you don't ever let anyone mistreat you, but I can see right now from my experience in corporate America that <laughs> people let, them, let people mistreat them all the time. In addition to that, they watch others get mistreated and they know it's wrong. They recognize wrong and they'll still sit quiet. Is that because people are are inhumane? Or is it because they're afraid? I'm not sure. But what I know is this. In my situation, people were there, people witnessed it, and they didn't say anything. Then, and very few speak up now. And so, it's been my job throughout this entire process to not judge those people. I don't have any idea about their rationale, but I do know that the system that I am standing up to would not take kindly to anyone standing up for themselves. Look at me. And so I think I know why they don't speak. I think it's because they're afraid. And a few of them call me and tell me about it. And so, that's what my foundation. When I get back to my foundation, and I use my 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 ability to think things through, I said the difference between myself and and others is that I can't take this anymore. My body just told me so. That's the reason why I'm being handed this PTSD diagnosis. And I know a way to make this stop. The way you make it stop is you offer solutions and you make it good business to treat people well. And so we have the pieces in place to do that proactively for small and medium businesses large enterprise we have the strategy in place to address the ineffectiveness of human resources otherwise known as HR and it's all done with love. It's not, it's not to say that you were not doing your best. We're, 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 we're here to make it possible to do better. To do better. To ensure that code of conducts and employee handbooks are followed. And when they are not, and the people of my community should come to me at once and gracious and, and, and tell, tell us what's up. Then we'll have, a, we'll have a discussion. We'll have a discussion and we'll make sure that all trauma is addressed. 
and you've heard an option to do better. So, my foundation plus my gifts and the desires of <laughs> saying, hey, look, not only can I take care of this for me, I can take care of it for everybody. That led me to this place. been extremely challenging extremely challenging it's cost me everything but it was never mine anyway and so when you add in the fact that I was always guided by our creator It makes such a beautiful story. And a very, very visible miracle. Because it's not me. And, and, and yeah, you guys have witnessed the entire, it's all been documented. I consider this to be like my, my digital journal for us to go back and then tell stories around so that we can always have an example that we know is not purchased by whoever the powers that be are. And so I was telling someone the vision of integration and the why behind it, a uh, fellow technologist the other day and he said, man, you're really solving a complex issue that, that's really needed. It's not me. It, it's, it's not me. Um, so, I hadn't been able to get up top to this place because of all the lightning that's been lightning. And tomorrow morning is deposition day. After almost three years. Deposition day. And so It's uh, it's unless you have actually experienced, and I'm not really sure this is accurate either, because people's bodies and feelings feel different things. But unless you unless you've experienced PTSD, then I'm not really sure that you can understand this. But to go into an environment that knows what it did to you and sit in front of a person that they're paying to mitigate their risk or diminish their loss or whatever it is, the person is not there to respect my my disabilities or my trauma or any of that and to have to not be who I am like in that trigger state is it is a tall ask, or or maybe I should be that person. I, I don't know, but I would tell you that it doesn't feel good to know that I 
there's a possibility that I go in there and my headaches start, my dizziness cranks up, my eye starts twitching, all while having this person engaging with me that is the cause of why that's happening. And there's also a chance, which I'm banking on, that God walks with me. This has been an episode of Tech P What's the What. I'm asking for prayers. This is about equality. which we shall have for those who choose and partner and join with one's creation. Y'all pray for me. Tomorrow morning, it's up. Peace.